How do we integrate the natural log of x raised to the power of 2n? The integral goes from 0 to 1, and n is any non-negative integer. We'll begin with a substitution u equals negative the natural log of x. To find dx, we'll express x in terms of u and differentiate both sides. The bounds are still in terms of x, so let's transform them. When x is equal to 0, well, the natural log is not even defined there, so really, we should be saying x approaches 0 from above. According to the substitution, u would be approaching negative the natural log of 0 plus, which means negative negative infinity or positive infinity. So that's the lower bound. When x is equal to 1, u will be negative the natural log of 1, which is, of course, 0. So that's our upper bound. Now, let's use this negative sign to reverse the order of integration into the more natural 0 to infinity. And for this negative sign, well, 2n is an even power. So negative u to the 2n is just u to the 2n. OK, now what? This is actually a special case of the famous gamma function, defined as the integral from 0 to infinity of some t to the power of z minus 1, e to the negative t, dt. The gamma function has the very interesting property that for any positive integer k, the gamma of k is the factorial of the previous integer. Comparing our integral to the gamma function, we see that we do have this e to the negative u du, and we have our variable raised to the power of 2n. So, by comparison, z minus 1 must be our 2n, or z must be 2n plus 1. So, the integral we have is actually nothing but the gamma function evaluated at 2n plus 1. And now, we can exploit this amazing property to express the answer as 2n factorial. So, there you have it. This seemingly complicated integral we started with is the factorial of the power of the natural log. What a beautiful result.